I've been a Victory fan since 2005, since the, the club first started up, um, since a kid, and then I've still yeah, support them just as much as today. I don't attend games anymore, banned for, um, but, well I was banned for nine years, it's down to seven now. My band is, was for igniting a flare in Sydney, um, and then breaching the band twice. So that's uh, uh, one for being in the stadium when I didn't know I actually had a band. Uh, the other one was for, I believe, being spotted outside the stadium or inside the stadium. That didn't really uh, give me a reason for the second one. I was actually, you know, obviously I had a few drinks down there. I was at Sydney away, it was yeah, a fantastic day. All, every away day is great, you know, it's just such a great experience. It was in that mindset, you know, just to do it. Uh, yeah, it just didn't quite work out for me, so. <laughs> Under the rules, yep, yeah, it, it is wrong, and I knew it was wrong, but uh, the general belief is you should be able to, you know, that's, that's the general belief. If people understand that it's going to be done inside an active area, they shouldn't really be in there if they're not happy with it. I mean, it should be, it's an area where everyone expects flares could happen. In a way, I personally don't see problems. I can see why other people do, but I personally don't. Now the Football Federation is asking for new laws to restrict the sale of flares. We certainly had a few set off uh, the other night. I think there's been 145 in the past year uh, at soccer, 12 the year before. I mean, is this, this is a problem, clearly. Yeah, big increase in the amount of flares being let off at these events. Uh, and they are an ugly blight as well as being dangerous, obviously, to people when they are set off. Uh, we've had... As you said, Neil, a big increase in the amount of flares that have been let off. Uh, we can search for flares around the sporting precincts, uh, the sporting venues, uh, which we do, and we've done a, a big increase in those over recent times. But interestingly, on Saturday night, we had four flares let off inside the stadium, but outside the stadium, 25 were let off. But the other issue, I think, with the, with the soccer, Neil, is, uh, is the audience that goes to soccer is predominantly young men. Uh, if you look across the terraces, you often see young male faces and only a few female faces to be seen. And uh, that, that sort of tribal, young male tribal culture that seems to go to the football at the moment uh, is what's, uh, what can be sitting behind this. Why is it, do you think, a problem with um, soccer but not AFL? Yeah, that's only my view, Neil, but this is the point I'm making about the audience attendance. If you look across uh, say an AFL crowd you'll see families, children which leads to a more an environment that's less contentious and less violent. When you've got just a sea of young males it can be a recipe for this sort of thing. There's some general that argue they're trouble makers. There's a lot out there that have been wrongly accused and they haven't been able to appeal their ban. Like so if they've been assumed to have, have done something they just get that ban straight. Out. There's nothing they can do. Once it's handed out, that's it. Yeah, that's all you get. So, yeah, you know, I think what well, the other thing I don't understand is a lot of people who are banned, you know, possibly made a one-off mistake and they wouldn't do it again. And they're, you know, huge supporters of the game. Like, I absolutely love the game. I love Velvet Victory. But, and, you know, I blew a flare, you know, broke my band a few times. So, I mean, that, they could see me as a troublemaker, but I just think I'm just a passionate supporter of the game. I've grown up with AFL, but. You know, football, the world game is definitely overtaken. Just, you know, through experiences, through just the emotions of the game, and I've supported it a lot more than what I, what I do at AFL against because it's an experience you just don't get anywhere else. I miss the adrenaline when we you know, score a goal, the celebrations. I miss, you know, just being, being side by side with mates and all, all the people around me all support the same club. You know, like, just, yeah, it's, it's a big, big miss, like, 100%.